Hi everyone, it's time for an update on the Sailway 3 development again. Uh, you may know that I've been working on uh, fittings and deck hardware, if you've seen the last uh, episode, if I may call it like that. Um, and most of the work there is done, I think I've made about 95% of all the uh, 3D models. And you can see them here, all stacked nicely, arranged nicely to be used. But um, these are just, just 3D models, uh, it's just decoration. So we have to be able to pull uh, a line through it. And you may think a line, that's easy. You just uh, start here and it ends there and it loops around a few blocks and, and winches and that's it. But that's not the case. There is no line. There's just a series of points where some shape has to go through in a smooth way. And this is also the reason why um, making boats or adding boats in Sailway 2 was so much work. I had to manually code or, or manually enter all the points that a line would pass through in 3D space and um, just by entering coordinates in a text <laughs> in a text file. It was a crazy amount of work. So this time I'm going to uh, spend a little bit more work, but then all these points are um, computed automatically and uh, it's much much easier to add boats and you can even do this yourself so let's look at this uh, line we have here this setup uh, it starts here at this point and then passes through down to this block and it's a nice block but you see already that the line pierces right through and that's because uh, there's no script that automatically rotates this block in the direction of the forces of the line. Uh, for now, I've concentrated only on making, uh, computing the points that the line has to pass through. So it moves on and then it meets this uh, protector. And the protector will pick up the line if it passes over it, if it touches and if it doesn't, like this it releases it what I've also added is this here and that's a collider a free collider you won't see this uh, at runtime but you can see it when you're editing uh, your fittings of your boat and um, you may uh, remember that in Sailway 2 when you sheet out completely with the uh, cruiser boat um, the main sheet will uh, pierce right through the side of your cockpit and with this collider you can, you can scale it to any size you want, rotate it, place it anywhere on the boat. Everywhere where these colliders are, the line will not uh, pass through. I can show you. See, it simply lifts up the line wherever it touches. Next up is this uh, deck organizer. It has several she uh, sheaves. You can select the sheaf that you want to use. It passes through, goes to this cleat then this uh, winch here a ring a clutch and then this sheet ba bag with a double e just to make things clear and you see the line inside because i've used a nice mesh here that you can see through and this line is nicely tangled inside uh, not like in sailway 2 when you just zigzag back and forth but uh, I've used nice um, interfering circles that create this tangle yeah. so uh, when the line is pulled in like this and you can see the clutch opening and you also see that it's pulled up this line is just made out of points and there's no smoothing yet uh, I still have to do that because this of course has to be a nice round curve but this way I can much easier test if all the points are in the correct position so let's look at this uh, this winch for a second uh, you can see the line passes through in circles also here you can see the segments of the line from point to point to point to point and uh, when you when I zoom in whoop, I'm zooming in here a little bit you can see that after it um, envelops around the uh, the drum then it 
it's pushed outside a little bit because otherwise it would pierce right through this cleat then it passes over the arm this edge is a little bit too sharp so i will probably make two points out of this to smooth it a little bit then it goes through this cleat and it releases by being pushed out again a little bit but this is not correct yet because i will show you when i rotate this winch the entry point stays nicely in place but you can see that the exit point rotates with me and i can even if i rotate it further here it even pierces right through the winch and that's something i should still fix but uh, i will get there and after that uh, i will need to add scripts to the other stuff that's uh, that's here for instance the uh, compasses with a nice rotating disc that always points north uh, there's ignition keys that will start your engine throttle uh, navigation lights that have to burn and uh, flag that has to wave and after that um, this block here if I zoom in again it just hangs in the air I mean <laughs> it has to be attached to something so that whole attachment process something i have to code as well if you for instance let me see if i can zoom in here you have to be able to say okay i want this on my deck then i want this shackle and then this block added to it and uh, they will have to know that uh, when the line pulls in a certain direction this thing on deck will stay in place the shackle and the block will rotate towards that uh, the direction of the force and or maybe the, the block can even be be attached to another line and if that line is pulled the position of the block will change if this is finished yeah that is going to be great because you can make every possible setup that you can imagine on your boat and just experiment with how you can control your sail with it uh, see what works nice or what looks nice. I don't care. You can make the craziest uh, the craziest setups that you like But uh, that's going to be awesome and a lot of fun to do. I think so um, Yeah, we take it one step at a time. It's going to be perfect and I'll see you next time. Bye